Hi guys, this is Jeffrey, jgb 146 blade for GrinderSchool.com. Today I'm coming to you to follow up on the meeting from the U.S. House of Representatives, the Subcommittee for Commerce, Manufacturing, and Trade, met yesterday to discuss the gambling issue, the online gambling issue, uh, evaluating whether or not it would be uh, worthwhile to pursue legalization and regulation and taxation. Uh, basically, the overwhelming news is good. Uh, uh, different members of Congress talked on all of the different points, basically everything that we poker players have been arguing for years are reasons that uh, things would be good, the amount of revenue that's being spent, the fact that it's a game of skill, the fact that it's not really illegal, the fact that the UIGEA is pretty much unenforceable. All of those points were brought up, were discussed in uh, intelligent ways. Um, so it's, it's good news overall. They obviously didn't change any laws yesterday. They noted that they're going to have to continue through the process to get there, but we're definitely stepping in the right direction. So good news moving forward. And I personally believe that it's just a matter of time before online poker play in the United States is completely legalized, completely regulated, and taxed appropriately. Uh, so that'll be great. Uh, they also talked about uh, so some other points. They talked about the uh, fact that the way that the law is now doesn't really prevent anything for people that really want to play. It definitely doesn't deter problem gamblers, um, but that it drives people underground, which can creates a safety problem that was discussed and the fact that instead of protecting U.S. citizens, uh, the current processes are actually endangering them. Uh, that's a, another good point. Um, beyond that, you can read a, a full report on the article in the links below. Uh, I'll also have links down there for where you can see some clips and, and actually I believe the Poker Players Alliance has a full recap where you can watch the entire two and a half hours of the subcommittee meeting. Um, let's see. I'll, I'll talk about a few other highlights, though. So, Representative Joe Barton, who's the one who is introducing the bill, the HR uh, 2366, to push through regulation for online poker. Um, he he talked for four minutes, and that's one of the links below. And uh, it was a pretty good talk. He noted that uh, President Nixon financed part of his campaign to become president through online poker play. Uh, granted, Nixon, Watergate, that maybe isn't the best analogy to use. He also noted that uh, President Obama is uh, a decent pl poker player, so a little bit better news there. And let's see, he also, <laughs> he had a, a screenshot where someone that was actually in the subcommittee audience, so another member of Congress or an aide of some sort, uh, had that weekend signed up and deposited on Bodog Poker. So <laughs> that was that was kind of powerful, I think. Uh, at least it was, it was fun. Um, but yeah, overall, uh, it was really a good meeting. I think a lot of good will come from it. I think it's a, a good step in the right direction. Uh, obviously, there will be more coming in the future. So when, when more news happens, I'll bring it to you here. Uh, with that, this is Jeffrey for GarnerSchool.com, signing off.